Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. It's a new week. I had a good rest over the weekend. Um, I actually got a packed day today. I'm just about to meet with one of our board members. He's coming here to the office to actually discuss like some strategy. Um, I had another one actually on Friday, which uh, went really well. And um, I have another one coming today just to discuss different things. Um, looking forward to that. Then I have a meeting with someone from Instagram. Then I have a meeting with uh, Saad, who we work with. He's uh, one of our partners here at JetFlow. Then I've got a client coming in that I need to run through. Um, and yeah, catch up with the whole team, a lot of emails, a very busy, busy day. But you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's super exciting. Just this week as a whole is very busy. Um, just loads of projects that we're working on. So yeah, should be good. Hope you like it. We'll try and record as much as I can trying to give you guys some value. Doing it for like someone with followers is just so different just because also when someone clicks on them, who is this person? Even Saad's video that got million views, he, he spent 20 grand on that. So Saad's like, oh, that's good. Stuff like that. <laughs> All the things you want to do, you like start doing them, right? You have the time now to work. Then you're a business life, you can pursue things. Maybe an app or whatever, right? Like, now is the time to do it. Yeah, that's why we're like, we do everything. We're like, last year, we're like, the next year we need to just get on it and we work. We just got a small thing there. Just finished up with some back-to-back -back meetings, super intense and absolutely shattered, but um, amazing. So first I met was he's the head of media at Facebook. He actually deals with all, all the advertising campaigns, um, it was insane, like the amount of stuff that he was telling me, like what happens over at Instagram and how Facebook like doing stuff, especially like you know, the likes are going, what that's gonna do, how what they like with ads. They can actually, they actually have a hundred million to give to businesses to spend on ads, so they can just give you credit, basically, which is mad, and you just need to become like a partner with them and stuff like that. So that was a lot to talk about. Super good meeting. Gonna try to catch up with him soon again after just doing a bit of work. Then I jumped in with a client meeting with uh, Lisa Fitch. She's been a client for us about two years. She's now on 1.4 million. She has an amazing business, crazy seven figures. And um, yeah, we were just talking about strategy. Got a lot coming up for her. Um, Q4 and then especially Q1 next year is gonna be big. It's gonna be like the biggest one for her. So yeah, it was super fun. Sit down and do that with them. It's uh, what these these sort of days are like. I love like all of this, but then at the same time, I do miss like just sitting on my laptop and just getting stuff done because that's how you progress. But all this is necessary, clients are necessary, advising people, giving them the help, support, because that builds our relationship, you know, um, and that is key in business. So was, I'm always trying to like do both. And that's what's so tiring and so hard. But yeah, good day. Uh, I'm gonna film some videos um, right after this. What's up? Still in the office. It's now 8.37. I guess we've got some we've got the world times over there. Um, but yeah, look, just um, just wrapped up a video. It was a, a very good video. It'll be coming out very soon. Um, I'm starting to enjoy it a bit more. I especially love the videos where like you're just using your experience and telling a story because you can like really, you know, go and start remembering what it was like, the feeling, and you start talking and like it's actually kind of fun because when you struggle to do something, it's fun to talk about it because it's not a lie, like you can generally sit and talk about it. I've talked about it for hours. What I'm learning is basically how to like concisely say it on camera. And um, so yeah, very good. Just wrapped up for the day. It was a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, what's up? It's uh, Wednesday today, is it Wednesday? Uh, it's Tuesday, uh, I've just got a client come downstairs and go and get him. Um, his name is Matt Does Fitness, you might know him, he's a YouTuber, he has about 700 and I think 50,000 um, on YouTube. So yeah, 
As we can go see him, um, he wants to launch a new brand, so we're going to go through what it is, uh, what to do. Um, it's just a first first meeting, really, just to kind of get to know each other, see what he does. And it's more about do you like vibe with the person and can you actually work with them? I always kind of look out for that because if you don't, you know, it's, it's that much harder. Good day otherwise, it's like... Yes, it goes back here. Obviously, I have another client in right now, so as soon as I finish this, I need to hop into that meeting. Because it changes and grows so quickly, I'm just constantly resetting like my Find you that you're good at these e-commerce platforms, you wouldn't need a tech team. Because that's how advanced they are now, you know? We've started this journey to find this carry on because we're almost there. Yeah, but to so someone else doing this, I'd be like, fuck it. I was actually talking to Fraser, we were just talking about like how much content we should do and the truth is what actually will work in this day and age is something which is a lot of work that you need like 50 different creative if you're going to run an ad because it's just so much more chance to reach so many more different people and you just need one of those to hit, one of those to resonate, get views, pull people in and then see what works, do it again. Because at this stage, I don't know what's going to work. Is it like a motivational rant going to work for me? Is it me sitting down and saying, hey, look, there's three ways you can do this. Is that going to be my best way? Is it a cool video of me getting out a Lamborghini and um, buying some shit from Gucci? Is that what's going to work? Like, I don't know. The point is that I need to do all of that stuff. Figure out what's going to work and then double down on that. And um, so it's a lot of work, but that's the plan. And... Um, it's, it's the only way to win. Even from clients that we work with who have grown the most, if someone was to ask me what was the thing that made them grow, it's just like they didn't quit. They just kept on posting, kept on posting three videos a week on YouTube. Imagine doing three videos on YouTube for a week, for a year, and then can you say that, oh, I, I didn't grow, or it didn't happen for me? Of course it would. That's a shitload of work. Imagine making a thousand videos. Like, you know, and in that time, how good you would get speaking on camera, how good would you get editing, how good you would you get at figuring out, researching. I was actually on Red IQ just looking at like keywords and stuff, like there's just so much more to it. And you know, there's people who will make one YouTube video, prime on try on video, and they're going to be like, oh, oh, I don't work for me, it's just not for me, or whatever, or no one goes on my Instagram. I actually had a call yesterday with someone, um, she's like, oh, you know, I want to release my own guide, I want to do my own thing. And, um, you know, she had 85% like male following. So like, no one's gonna buy from you. Number two, the content was so shit. It was like, you know, you're saying that oh, I study marketing. And she was like, I study marketing. I understand all about it. You look at the post, it's like one by a tree. One's like somewhere else. It's all like pictures, no videos. She's into fitness. She's doing no swipe fitness videos. It's like, people just don't do the work. You're not doing the work, but then you're complaining that, oh, you know, it's not growing or it's stopping. I don't know what to do. I'm about to upload a video, so I'm just doing that. But yeah, let's get back to that. If brands are not coming to you, you then need that validation. One thing people ask me: you don't need investment to get started. Are you someone that's struggling to create content? Hey, what's going on? It's Friday. It's in the office. I've actually just been working on some content, but what we're gonna do is some videos. I've started posting now. Uh, by the time this airs, hopefully there'll be a lot more content coming out. We're actually over at the uh, weigh-in today. The team's there. Uh, live streaming on AGBXNG. In case you didn't know, AGBXNG is Anthony Joshua's brand that we manage. And we also manage on social media. Obviously, he lost the first fight, so we're hoping December 7th he wins. Start selling.
Hey, how's it going? Um, as you can see, I have a baby. So basically, yeah, I guess uh, about two months ago, I don't know when this video is going to go out exactly, but yeah, I had an amazing baby. Her name is Hissa, which actually means destiny. And it's an Arabic word, it's pretty cool. So yeah, since she came into my life, things have been completely different. Um, you kind of have to really use your time efficiently, think about others. There's so much more lack of sleep. But it does give me this weird focus that I can't explain. It's like all of a sudden, even everyone says this, but it's actually true that the moment she was born, from that moment you feel like you have another purpose. Especially because she can't speak and stuff, you just look at her and you feel inspired to do things. For me, I want to give her like the best opportunity I possibly can. That doesn't mean like just money or a roof over her head. That means like if I can give her the best platform to make the biggest difference as well. That's my motivation for her. And yeah, hard life. <laughs> so yeah, it's amazing. She's just coming today, first day of the office. Introduce her to everyone. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. That's what it's all about. You gotta work hard.